Welcome to another episode of Ship of War, my review of Side Effects. Ship of War. When ship happens, I'm there. Now, here's my little disclaimer before I continue on to my review, and that is for those who are interested in seeing this movie or those who have no idea what this movie's about or did not even know it, it existed or it was going to exist or anything like that until this point on when you saw this video up here on this channel, here's my advice to you guys. Don't watch any trailers. Do not read any summaries. Do not go on any message board. Definitely do not go on message boards. Because I went on a message board like probably an hour ago and people were spoiling this movie left and right in the title of their posts. So please avoid every form that you can. Just stay low when it comes to this movie until you're able to watch it. So for those who feel like you're the type of person who grabs onto words and you go into a theater thinking about what other people said prior to seeing a film, I suggest you just stop this review and just completely avoid anything in regards to this film until you see it. So with that said, here's my review of Side Effects. Now Side Effects, the only thing I really knew about the movie were the actors, and that was enough to get me into the movie, even though the director, Steven Soderbergh, has disappointed me with the last movie that I saw of his, and that was Haywire. But, he disappointed me with Haywire a lot. Like, I, I can't even express how much I really disliked that movie. But he has a good track record when it comes to his film. He, he has had a lot of films that I really enjoyed. So, I was willing to give this film a chance, especially with the name actors in this movie. Uh, Jude Law, Katha uh, Zeta-Jones, Rumi Mara, who I haven't seen her in anything since The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and I really enjoyed her in that movie. So I was like, she's going to do a great job in this film, even though if the film ends up being alright, she's going to do a good job. And then Channing Tatum for the eye candy, because I'm sorry, he seems like a great, awesome guy. He's very attractive, but... He's not the best actor. I don't think he's the best, like, dramatic actor out there, but he holds up. And I have to say, he holds up in this movie. So, overall, my first impression of this movie was that I was just going to go there, give it a chance, have an open mind, and that's it. I was just going to enjoy a film that hopefully ended up being okay with the possibility of being another haywire for me. And I have to say, I overall enjoy the living snot out of this film. This film was fantastic. By far the best movie of 2013. Which is not saying much because we're still in January. But I have to say even films in 2012, this movie is up to par to one of the really great ones I really enjoyed last year. And that's saying something. This movie was pretty damn amazing. I was taken by surprise with this film. A lot of people on my screener who also did not like Haywire, who were wary about this movie, just came out of the theater like, wow, that movie was freaking good. It was a really good movie. It was a great thriller, because this movie is a thriller. There's a lot of twists and turns, there's a lot of plot things, there's a lot of things you have to pay attention to to understand the full story. And it's just, the way it was done was great. There was some twists in this movie that just took you off guard. Again, not knowing much of it, not watching the trailer. After I watched the trailer, I was like, okay, I see, I see, okay. But going into this movie completely blind to what it's about is the best thing you can do with this film. Because there's some twists in this movie that's completely crazy. And just this one particular twist in the movie that had me giggling like a schoolgirl because... <laughs> No, because I was probably being very immature about the, the whole twist, but not only that, but people's reactions to it in my theater was hilarious, and not everybody was laughing, but I had to laugh because people's reaction to it was just too funny. I wish that I had it on tape because it was hilarious, and I had to cover my mouth at certain points because I was laughing, or rather giggling over how people were reacting to this twist in the movie. As for the romance in the movie, there is romance in this film uh, between two actors. I and and um, <laughs> I'm sorry for those who saw the movie. You probably know why I'm laughing. There's romance in this movie, and it's nice. Yes, the romance is nice. Yes. So yeah. 
Side effects. It was a great movie. It took me by surprise. It took a lot of people at my screener by surprise. Overall, this movie seems to be getting a lot of good feedback. So I'm going to say this movie is going to be a good one. I honestly believe if you enjoy good thrillers, this is one of them. Um, critics, I, I honestly don't know what critics are going to think about this movie because they're so hard to read. But one of the big critics here in my area, his name is Roger Moore and he's not James Bond. I overheard him saying, yeah, the movie was pretty good. And I'm hearing that from a critic, that means the movie was pretty good because critics can be very critical because they're critics. So with that said, this movie was pretty damn amazing. I recommend this movie to everyone who is of age to watch an R-rated movie that said because you gotta be old enough to watch this movie because there's some content in it that's not age appropriate. So that is all for this episode of Ship of War. Goodbye and until next time and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm so embarrassed over the fact that I haven't done a review for this movie yet even though I really enjoyed this film and it's so bizarre. I saw this movie, I enjoyed it, I even posted a Facebook status on my personal Facebook page stating how much I really liked this movie. I bragged to people about it and I just haven't done a review for it and to even top it off how bad it is, I didn't even nominate this movie for any 